Hello, hello, hello. So in this video, I am going to quickly walk through how to split MIDI drums into separate tracks in Logic. And specifically, I'm gonna be working with Eucratone drums today. So without further ado, let's get to it. So step one, we're gonna create a software instrument track. So control command. So as I bring up this menu, you'll see I already have this selected, but I wanna show you what it's gonna be like if you just have the default settings here. So go here, click, go all the way down to your audio unit instruments, find Ugratone, Ugratone drums. And instead of, I usually default to stereo, but in this case, if I'm splitting everything up, I want to select multi output. So make sure that that's selected. And then we'll just create that. Okay, so now I want to feed it some MIDI. I've already got some here. I'm actually using the Funeral Beat 1 taken from the Ugratone Doom Metal Essentials MIDI pack. So 90 BPM, nice and sludgy. I just want to make sure that it's actually triggering the sounds in the plugin. So let's start with that. So I think things are still loading up. So I'm going to do like this. There we go. All right, so very slow, very sludgy, right? So next, in order to get multiple tracks rolled out right here, right? I want to go to output routing, select mega mix, 15 outputs. Okay. So now we'll still be able to hear everything on this one track, but what's cool. Is that on this channel strip, you notice this little plus and minus sign. So that is made possible because if we take a look at the inspector here on the channel strip itself, the MIDI out has everything selected. You can either do that. You can either do 15 output, 16, either way. I'll do 15. And what I'm going to do now is just hit the plus sign multiple times until I get all of the individual tracks out. And there's a ton of drums that are not going to be, you know, present here in the tracks that I have available. There's not a lot going on in this beat, right? It's just kick, you know, snare, hi-hat, and cymbals. There's no toms. There's nothing like that. So there's only so many things that you're going to hear. But let's listen to this. Okay, so... Got your hi hat. Sounds like a room, room mic, maybe. So that sounds like some type of, uh, parallel compression channel where just the kick and the snare were sent to maybe the toms go there as well if they were you know if they were on this midi region it would trigger that but let's see what else we got so i'm thinking this one is probably the room this one's probably the overhead I think that's everything. What's cool is this used to be all the drums. And now it's just the kick. But if I hit this minus button right here, it's going to take all these tracks away. And it'll, you'll just hear everything in this. you break it up the less we're gonna hear here all 
All right, so that's it. I wanted to keep things really short. I hope this helps. And if you're just getting started with drum programming and just working with MIDI drum grooves and trying to figure all of that out, but you're not really sure where to begin, I've put together a free drum programming mini course that you can find at the link in the description. And it's just a few simple concepts that I like to implement when I'm writing songs. Uh, it's not overly technical, but I believe you'll get some quick wins. So if you're interested, head to the link in the description and I'll see you over there.